Nine years after the Trojan War started, the Greek forces sacked Chrysi, which was a town allied with Greece as well, Troy. Greeks captured many spoils, including two maidens. Their names were Chryses and Bryces. As a prize, Chryses was sent to Agamemnon, commander of the Greek army. Bryces was gifted to Achilles, Greece's greatest warrior. Chryses a priest of Apollo and father of Chryses plans to retrieve his daughter with a considerable ransom. Would it um be, be possible for me to me to have my daughter back? I'm just a I'm just a humble priest of Apollo, and I, I brought I, I brought an acceptable, well, hopefully acceptable ransom for her. That is hilarious. What happened next? Well, the whole thing caught on fire. Wow. Then we find out the stripper was in the cake the whole time. <laughs> and that's why my wife won't let me host our kids' birthday parties anymore. Please, sir. Take this ransom and release Chryseus. Oh, I wish I could. But you see, a man has special needs that only a woman can fulfill. Finally. Now be gone, you hoppy! Ha oh, ha uh, ha! Uh, keep on cleaning! Now, tuck me in. Now kiss me on the head and say, everything's gonna be okay. Everything will be okay. Thanks. I love you, Mom. Huh? Away with you, wench! Now leave, pest! Without cooperation from Agamemnon, Chryses turned to Apollo for assistance. I beseech you, Apollo! Agamemnon has acted unhonorably and refuses to set my daughter free even when I offered a ransom! If you would not mind, could you please kill all the Greeks? Will you do it? Why do you never talk to me, Apollo? I love you. What? How dare this Greek pig dishonor ancient traditions? Let us see how he feels when I flag all Greek YouTube videos. Chaos shall reign. Oh, new comments on my kitty video. What? No, you disturbed ancient grounds this time, Greeks. I shall set a plague upon your camps and cattle. the deaths of many Greeks and livestock. In an attempt to determine the cause of the plight, Agamemnon spoke with the prophet Calchas in a large meeting. I brought you all here to discuss how to resolve this issue with the disease. Calchas, our prophet, thanks for coming. Snape kills Dumbledore. Come on, I'm only on book two! No, Calchas! Tell me how to stop this plague. Ah, it appears the sickness was spurred because of your wrongful enslavement of Chryseus. You must release her to the priest, as Apollo has been infuriated. What? There must be another way. Oh, that's right. Achilles, you shall bestow your girl to me, and I'll release mine. I want Chryseus for satisfying my needs. I asked for two coats. Does that look like two? Not the lavender perfume, I want rose petal. Hey, 
Watch the ankles. They're sensitive. First of all, halt your radio blasting. Second of all, that is quite misfortunate because now she is mine. No! 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 And to be specific, those no's were in regards to both the radio and the girl. Calm yourself, Achilles. I guess you heard the news that I'm now single. I never expected you to come to confess your love so quickly, Athena. Be silent and heed my words. Do you have any idea how many push-ups I can do? Can you hear the words coming from my mouth? Sure, I'll sign an autograph. Do you have a pen? <sighs> Withdraw your blade and do not harm Agamemnon. I shall withhold my sword from this war until you succumb to these demands. I want infinite girlfriends, a house made of rainbows, and a dagger constructed with the shattered dreams of orphans. Until then. Hey Achilles, Ajax doesn't believe you can eat a whole bowl of nails. He gathered some in his camp. Not now, Patroclus. There's something in my eye. In results of Achilles' anger towards Agamemnon, he sought assistance from his mother, Thetis, who was a sea nymph. Mom! Achilles! Where have you been? I told you to take out the trash years ago! Mom, I'm a soldier now. I don't have time for that. Didn't I warn you about constantly playing that song? You'll run out of batteries and I won't buy you new ones. Mom! Just tell my bro Zeus to help the Trojans. Fine! But I'm not buying you any more L'Oreal cosmetics! The Trojans are attacking! How about a duel, Prince Paris? The victor will be granted Helen! No thanks. I'm a pacifist. Since when? Oh, since a few seconds ago. Arr! Your head will be on a shot, Pike! Oh no! That is the worst kind of pike. <laughs> nice call on the tactical retreat, Aphrodite. No probs, buddy boo. Oh look, a rainbow. I am grateful for your survival! Wow, thanks, Helen. I guess this one's gonna be a happy ending after all. The duel is inconclusive. Charge! The Trojans were victorious in this skirmish. The Greek encampment was damaged and a small percentage of the boats were torched. The soldiers of Troy held positions nearby the camp. In a courageous attempt to expel the Trojans from the beach, Patroclus wore Achilles' armor and charged the Trojans with Greek forces behind him. Initially, the battle favored the Greeks until a duel commenced between Hector and Patroclus. Hector, thinking Patroclus was Achilles, slayed him and stole his armor. Achilles, who caught in grief by the news about the death of Patroclus and the loss of his armor, sought revenge upon Hector. Before going out on his newfound quest, his mother Thetis returned with armor made by Hephaestus and presented it to her son. Then Achilles pierced through the Trojan lines, causing them to rout to their keep. However, Hector stayed behind. Hector runs from Achilles until Athena fools him into a false sense of confidence, in which he then stopped and started to fight with Achilles, only to be quickly defeated. Achilles then desecrated Hector's corpse by tying it to the back of his chariot and dragging it around the outer walls of Troy. In desperation to have a proper burial for Hector, his father, Priam, visited Achilles. After appealing to Achilles' memory of his father, Priam convinced Achilles to return Hector's body to Troy 